Morning. Morning. It's the morning after the worst bike ride. Um, we left the campsite all excited that we'd found a um, traffic free cycle route. And I can't even describe what surface it was. Kind of rocky, gravel, loose, sand, bumpy. Rocks this big. Um, Tunnels without lights. Yeah, and we forgot to take our bike lights. Didn't so think we'd need them to be honest. I'm trying to use the light on my phone to see to go through these tunnels and they're like 100, 150 meters long and they go around a corner so you can't even see the light at the other end. So yeah, that was interesting. Um, it kept going on and on and on. It was only five miles? 11k, whatever that is. So we thought, oh, we'll, miles. we'll, we got to the campsite around four ish. So we thought, oh, we'll shoot out and shoot back and it'll be done and dusted, happy days. But it was really, really challenging. The surface was really tough. I think by the time we got to the end, we were both ready for it to finish. We took the road some of the way back. And um, yeah, that was just probably the most challenging ride we've done so far. On Ollie this enjoyed trip. doing 20 miles an hour downhill. <laughs> <laughs> he was, <laughs> as we were going down. He enjoyed it, didn't you? Speak to you soon. south of Santander that has space for us to stay. So we are in a little auto caravan site. Very basic, six euros a night. A bit different to last night on there the night before. Oh, South Coast British man. Oh, we've seen some more British. So the reason why we're here I've <laughs> is because we are our focus now, after leaving the campsite this morning in the drizzle, is to catch one stage of the Vuelta España, which is Spain's, I almost said Portugal, Spain's uh, national bike cycle event. Yeah, so like equivalent to the Tour de France, but shitter. But hey ho. Well, no, no, I think it's quite, I think it's quite esteemed. Probably not as esteemed as the Tour de France, certainly the not as esteemed. The Tour is the pinnacle though. That's yeah, like definitely. So we can catch stage three on Monday, and today is Saturday, well it's Saturday night, 
So we're parked up for two nights, we're just going to chill. We also happen to have parked on the um, Cam on a part of the Camino de Santiago. And we've seen loads and loads of hikers of all ages, men and women, some carrying everything they own, some really light, lightweight take the push chair? packing. <laughs> So it's a beautiful spot and uh, we feel really happy that the sun's out. I think we really Thank struggled God. with the drizzle. Felt like we were back home. Yeah. And all day we've had like cloud. Yeah. We've been driving along the coast um, and it's just been quite oppressive. I think we've been used to the sunshine so much that um, when it got grey and miserable we couldn't cope very well. Hey, third world problems. But now we're off for pizza. We're walking home empty handed, we didn't get pizza, boo! But not only are we on the Camino de Santiago, Ollie's not happy, he's not been fed yet, we're also on, on one of the Via Verdes about six kilometers, fairly flat, suitable for bikes, walkers and horses. So it might not be the best surface, but maybe we'll give that a try tomorrow. 